Hey Frostoop, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and just call me Nene. That is my nickname. So, I very rarely record a Stitch With Me video. It's because I it is hard for me to talk while stitching. And the first the first two stitch with, stitch with me videos it usually goes like when I'm stitching I'm not talking and I'm when I'm talking I won't stitch and so for this one I tried a new method as in I record me stitching first and then I record the audio and I will try to edit it to be one video and yeah I hope it will work well if you listen to me now of course it it does work <laughs> okay um, because it's already October and almost Halloween in the end of the month I want to share some ghosts from Indonesia and not a ghost story just the ghost um, Indonesia is a country where the people is still widely believe in mystical stories um especially in the small villages and indonesia have so many ghosts so i i look for top 10 indonesian ghosts to share to you and the source is from idntimes.com it is in indonesian language and so I look for the details in Wikipedia. So I hope it is uh, comprehensive enough. Uh, I mean detailed enough for you to understand. I will insert picture of the ghost that I was that I'm talking when I first said the ghost name. Now, the first one, it is called Pochong. You can look up at the picture. A Pochong, also known as Shroud Ghost, is a ghost that is said to be the soul of a dead person trapped in its shroud. The shroud is the prescribed length of cloth used in Muslim burials to wrap the body of the dead person. The dead body is covered in white fabric tied over the head, under the feet, and on the neck. According to traditional beliefs, the soul of a dead person will stay on the earth for 40 days after the death. If the ties over the shroud are not released after 40 days, the body is said to jump out from the grave to warn people that the soul needs to be released. After the ties are released, the soul will leave the earth forever. There are many variations about pochong appearances, but usually people describe pochong with a pale face and wide open eyes. Another variant, variant consists of burnt face pochong with glowing red eye, or green face pochong with blank white eye, and flat flat face pochong with a hole in their eyes area. Although in popular culture pochong hop like rabbits due, due to the tie under their feet, rendering the ghost unable to walk, the original pochong move by floating above ground. This condition is often used to identify fake pochong. And the most favorite place of pochong is under a banana tree. Okay, um, I hope 
I didn't talk too fast. Now the second one is Sundel Bolong. Sundel Bolong is a myth. Sorry, uh, usually described as a beautiful woman with long black hair and used a long white dress. And at her back, uh, usually it is a bit covered with her hair. Her back is um, has a hole, so you can see the internal organ. You can see her internal organ. Okay, but uh, from the uh, front part, she is a beautiful woman with a uh, long black hair and long white dress. Her appearances is uh, does look alike with another ghost. Uh, that is called Kuntilanak, but the only difference is that Sundal Bolong has a hole at her back. Okay. The name Sundal Bolong uh, is from Java, Java language, which means Sundal means. Uh, prostitutes and bolong means hole that is point to her back so sundel bolong it is in the myth the sundel bolong is um spirit from a dead woman because of being raped and she gave birth in the grave. So, and Sundal Bolong, according to, me, to the myth, likes to steal newborn babies. You can commonly said that Sundal Bolong can be seen as a beautiful woman walking walking alone alone in a in a dark empty street or road. Um, there is a there is some thought that this myth is made to make uh, to make the woman to keep the wom to keep woman from walking alone walking alone at night uh, in the village and and so the woman can avoid being harassed harass from ill fated men especially if the man has uh, an ill thought to rape a woman yeah uh Sorry, some some of the some of some of the description is in English, like the first one, pochong, but uh, mostly it's in Indonesia, so I have to think while translating the story. The third one is Kuntilanak. Uh, it is believed that uh, Kuntilanak is a pregnant woman 
who is dead or um, who is dead be- when she gave birth and the child has not been born yet so again the kuntilanak is described as a beautiful woman with long black hair and long white dress she likes to hunt uh, villagers to revenge and when she appears it it usually with a jasmine smell no jasmine yeah uh, the jasmine flower smell um same with sundal bolong kuntilanak uh, usually disguised as a beautiful woman walking alone in the dark empty road also you can find her at the sitting on the tree according to the tradition and myth of java people kuntilanak won't um, annoy pregnant woman if the woman if the pregnant woman brings um, something sharp like nails uh, knife scissors needle with her so usually in indonesia a pregnant woman will have something sharp pinned in her clothes and usually it is near her uh, stomach so and of course after the baby is born it is continued to have the sharp object near the baby okay next uh it's kuyang you can look up to see the picture this ghost is described like a woman with a uh, long hair but without a body she has only head and internal organ uh, the people believe that kuyang is like monster or shapeshifter so uh, in indonesian language there is a word siluman siluman is uh, maybe you can refer to not really a monster but more like a shapeshifter who can uh, turn into animal form okay back to kuyang uh, people believe that kuyang is a shapeshifter who is thirsty for blood especially baby and pregnant woman's blood that is because uh, it is believed that baby and pregnant woman is clean from the sins i think why how did uh it became kuyang because uh it is believed that kuyang actually is a human who wants to learn dark magic and to do it there is a price to be paid which is to get off from her human form when the night came the more blood that they get uh, the higher their dark magic 
Okay, next up is the fifth ghost. It is Leak. You can look up to see the picture. Mostly the this ghost story Leak stories is from Bali and around Bali. Leak is believed a wicked witch so they actually are human but with a high supernatural magic Leak is described as a creature with big eye and high and have a tusk like elephant's tusk and it is hairy with uh, with a long tongue yeah big eyes uh, have a tusk giant and hairy and the long tusk eh sorry long tongue at they like layak looks like a normal human but at night he get out from its human for its human form to steal body organ for the for its potions and Bali people believe that Leak can turn into another creature such as monkeys tigers or pigs the more sacrifice they do the higher their magic. Okay. Next up, number six is Gunderuo. You can look up to see the picture. Gunderuo is a um, Japanese myth about some kind of jinn or monster who looks like a mm, monkey human it is a giant and hairy with the with its skin is like reddish black and yeah um giant human with a reddish black skin and its body is hairy gunduguo is most known in java and it is believed to be able to communicate and do uh contacts with human some legends said that Gunderuo can change their appearance to a human uh, to flirt with another human. And it is believed that Gunderuo is a uh, love sex. So, yeah. It, it is believed that usually he flirt with women and children but not uh, all Gunderuo is bad uh, some are good and their behavior is is according to 
how human interact with them, whether the human wants to be friend or be enemy with that uh, kind genderuwa. Next up is Tuyul. You can look up to see the picture. Okay. Tuyul has a very short body and it loves money. So it is very often that human uh, use to you to be rich the most common appearance that the story have is that to you is described as a bald headed children and likes to steal money to you is believed um, from a dead newborn baby and another myth said that Tuyul is from an aborted child and others said that Tuyul is the kid from Sundal Bolong so yeah there are many versions about where Tuyul is from. Next up is uh, number 8, Wewe we Gombel. You can look up to see the picture. Wewe we Gombel is a female supernatural being or ghost in Japanese mythology. It is said that she kidnaps children. This myth is thought to encourage children to be cautious and to stay at home at night. Traditionally, the Wewe Gombel is represent, represented as a woman with long hanging breasts. Modern representations include vampire-like fangs. The ghost was named Wewe Gombel because it is related to, to an event that according to ancient folklore happened in Bukit Gombel or Gombel Hill in Semarang, where long ago a married couple lived. They had been married for years, but as time went by, the husband realized that his wife was barren and stopped loving her. The husband became wayward, neglecting his wife and leaving her alone for alone for long periods of time, so that she lived in sorrow. One day, she followed him and caught him in a sexual relationship with another woman. Hurt by her husband's betrayal, she became furious and killed him. Faced with the crime, angry neighbors gathered in a mob and chased her from the village. Despairing at the ostracization and continual harassment, she committed suicide. After that, her vengeful spirit became Wewe Gombel. Sundanese folklore says that she dwells in the crown at the Arengapinata palm, palm tree, where she has her nest and keeps the children she catches. She does not harm them, and once they are under her clutches, they are not afraid of her. Local traditions say that the children she abducts have been mistreated or neglected by their parents. She treats the children lovingly as a grandmother would, would, taking care of them and protecting them until their parents repent, at which point she returns them. Okay. Next up, number 9 is Jenglot. You can look up to see the picture. Janglot has a very small body, more like a doll, around 10 to 17 centimeters. They have dark skin, like mummy, 
and usually it has um fangs and long nails long fang and long nails and long hair uh it's this creature is usually found in java um Kalimantan and Bali even though they look like a doll and looks like an animate not alive yeah something like that many people believe that uh, actually they had a soul this myth comes from uh, that many people said that its hair, nails, and fangs keep growing. There are many versions uh, of how Jenglot became a Jenglot. Some say that it is actually a magic guru who wants eternity. Some say that they are a creature that is domesticated by a magic guru. And... Jenglot is believed to have a mystical power and eat human blood. Next up is Lampor, the last one. You can look up to see the picture. I think this picture is from a movie poster. But yeah. Mm. Literally, Lampor is means noise because when lampor appear it appears with a very noisy sound which is believed the the noise is from Nyi Roro Kidul's procession who passed by and carried a casket so a uh, Nyiro Kidul is another legend uh, maybe next stitch with me or uh, yeah I think I will make October uh, I will tell this Indonesian ghost story in October the Halloween month okay so the casket that they carried it is first empty and later it will be it will carry a human usually kids that the lap that the lampo kidnap uh, lampo is said uh, to be able to kill human it it uh, it came when the human is sleeping and it strangled the human till death and when the human is dead the body the body will be carried using the flying casket okay so that's all the story what do you think do you enjoy it or not do you want to are you interested in another story another ghost story and yeah i think that's all for this video thank you for all your likes and comments um i do love the interactions Stay safe and healthy and 
happy sticking my friends bye